Sheik coming up, turning on some items just for the stream. Just some Pokeballs. And, uh. Yeah, Luma takes the rock, paper, scissors. Strikes Yoshi's, understandably so. Luma with some silent Johns. Pretending to be cold before the match starts. <laughs> and the pound of respect. Alright, so uh, Luma is a fairly sizable uh, favorite for this. Yep. But yeah, I think he likes doing that. Yeah, up until yesterday, no Berlin based Smasher had uh, beaten Luma in, uh, in tournament here. So, um, he's uh, certainly. Uh, Got reasons to be motivated for this yeah. after uh, last night when Osleon took the belt. Not for a long time. But... <laughs> He's been holding on to it for about uh, 14 hours right now, so we'll see if he can make it to 24. Good grab by Luma. Let's see what he does with this F throw. Just wanted him off the ledge. And um, yeah, Phil lands a back air on the way down. No, uh, Dennis, I mean. Um, and yeah, Luma takes the first stock. Business as usual, kills himself, and we got a dead even game. <laughs> Phil, oh, Dennis takes uh, the time to uh, do some tech practice, some warm ups. And he lands, a lot of SDs to yeah, <laughs> lands three straight up airs to a back air. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure why you rolled there, but um, he was off to a good start on this oh, stock and good shine out of the dash attack. Yeah, the, the major problem with Cheek's dash attack is it doesn't have a lot of hitbox in the front, so it's not a good horizontal move, really. It's uh, it's mostly above Cheek that's covered with the hitbox. So uh, so when it's up against uh, even a shine like you saw there, the, the shine will hit the dash attack unless you space it properly. Yeah. Good power shield. Misses the tech chase. I'm not sure about that down air we saw a moment ago on such low percent, but yeah, got away with it. And uh, Dennis tries to get the tech chase uh, jump castle up smash, but it was just too late. Nice. And uh, yeah, Luma plays it safe, just jumps up. Knows his positioning really well. Yeah. Just going for the Tomahawk instead of anything active on the shield. Let's see if he can pick up this edge guard. He drops it. Uncharacteristic. That's normally Luma. The best part of Luma's game is his edge guard game. Yeah. But uh, he drops it there. These two have played more than anyone else at this tournament. I would say these two have played each other. OGs of Berlin Smash. Luma usually getting the upper hand and you can see it's sort of developing like that in this game too. And, uh, Dennis misses the Gimp attempt and uh, he uh, eats 47% for it. Uh, my make is not on. I think my bigger <laughs> phone is on. Shit. What do you say? Ah, fuck these guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's concentrated on the match, but I think Luma is, is yeah. taking it. I was surprised uh, Dennis didn't go for the jump cancel yeah. up smash out of shield uh, on that dash attack a moment ago. Yep. He usually likes it, but I guess maybe he has to prepare for it. No, and, uh, it's, a, yeah. it's the wrong angle. Gets the wrong angle and um, eats a three stock no for his efforts. <laughs> yeah. And the salty run back to Dreamland. I don't really agree with this, but uh, I feel like probably Dennis feels like he has something to prove. There's and, a lot uh, of salt at Meltdown. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of salt at Meltdown. <laughs> against who? Yeah. 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 And uh, Dennis with another self-destruct. You see Luma getting those grabs over and over Punch again. Ooh, almost hits the neutral air. But uh, Dennis just spaced it right. Luma misses the tech chase, gets the good grab there. Another red no. Yeah, dash attack. Tries to go for the foxtrot dash attack, nice but misses. It's a good back air there. Eats an up smash. Dennis is very 
comfortable going for those up smashes, and he, he knows knows when Sheik is in a position to be vulnerable for it. And uh, good DI there, gets out of trouble, but an unfortunate option to get back up, and uh, Lumas waiting for it. Lumas H got it. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis could have probably just gone up or jumped up, but uh, he went for the side B, overcommitted, and uh, Lumos was ready. And talk about overcommitting. Good edge guard. And uh so awesome. Yeah. Dennis is in a rough position right here. He's really gonna make something happen. Oh you don't want to get four stopped. <laughs> no, definitely not. Maybe a backer would be a yeah, better option there. Even a down smash. <laughs> The up smash could have worked, he just uh, timed it a little yep. wrong. Not a lot of people seem to miss those when the sheet goes straight up. It's uh, not something people are too used to, so a lot of the times they'll drop it for no apparent reason. Okay. One stuck So what, is, uh, what do you think um, Dennis has to do here to change it up? To make this a little competitive? Dennis needs to get really better in choosing edge. Depending. Yeah. And I, I think Dennis has a lot of mishits because of the positioning. Yeah. He always hits uh, up air, but not completely. Oh. And Luma takes it in. Yeah. DI is too much back, yeah. and Luma takes it 2 0. Oh, well.